and, and go back to this one. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking. Uh, the name. The name will come back to me. Google Mountain, stuff like that. I've got it on DVD. I sell the DVD normally when I do the whole package of the Philadelphia Experiment and uh, the Motu Project. I do the whole package and how it all ties in. But yeah, in Bulgaria and all this, I didn't know. I didn't know. You know, it's, it's, it's there. And there's many different vortex spots on the planet, like Kentucky, the pyramids, underwater pyramids. There's many different vortex spots that people are now realizing because, you know, the North Pole has shifted. And you can go check out, uh, what's the, the guy who flew over, Richard Admiral Eber. He flew over the pole and saw colors coming out. What's that word? I can never pronounce it properly. Don't lie. Barola, or this, whatever. You know, the Northern Lights. <laughs> so there's a central yeah. southern planet. There's yeah. so much like things you can go and resize for yourself. Even in China, they got pyramids as well. Exactly. Well, come on. China and the China Sea, there's bigger pyramids right there. So they know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? There's pyramids everywhere. Look, Mexico, um, Easter Island, you know mm. what I'm saying? In Peru. Yeah. Yo, man, it's like. It's on crazy. Mars! Yeah. That's not fun. On <laughs> Venus. Why can't they see what's going on on Venus and places like that? Because they can only map them 3D. Like these people here don't 3D lockdown. Too much meat, too much stars, too much dairy. Yeah, they, they only map it on, on 3D lockdown. They don't know how to tap in to the 4th and the 5th, which the planet Earth is already known. I shouldn't say Earth, because you know, it's a world planet, team at E, or Adam, so many different names. Or, and as we as land beings made that jump with them. Follow, so they can't see what we can see. Sound like a world of TV video. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, we was everywhere. So I'm saying like, you know, when you see me the poster charts out here, come and check out what I've got on my table. I've got, I've got those tools for you. You know what I mean? And, a, and a, a good book that goes into all that, you check out my man Barashingo, Dr. Barashingo. Alright? got two excellent books that you really, really go into. It goes into the, um, the, the era, when, they, when these people were going into the Middle Ages, the Dark Ages, whatever, you know, they Unfounded, couldn't see until we come and clean them up. That's another story. I'm still in line yet. We had something called uh, feudalism. Yeah, feuds. These people like to war against each other. You know, you gotta realize how these feuds started. You know what I'm saying? Jealousy, envy, and all that. And what they've done is reverse on us now when we were in a feuds. You know what I'm saying? They pitched Ga people from Ghana against Nigerians. Now we realize it's the same blasted empire. They, they pitched uh, people in Barbados and the Caribbean against Jamaicans. How you doing, y'all? I see you smile. How was your day today? Alright. It's cool though. Yeah, they pitched Trinidadians against uh, Guyana. They're always pitching people against each other. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's part of the feud thing. That's what they carry on. It's feud. It's always been about bloodshed. Nothing in their history is nice. It's all, it's all that shit and blood, cutting people's heads off, cutting people's arms and limbs off. You know. So when you go back into that now, you'll find out the, the root word um, SARF, which is S E. R-F-S coming from the, the Latin Sabak, which also means slaves and these are the peasants so you had the, the hierarchy living in their mansions or castles that's why there's so many castles in these British Isles which were nasty places when they show these movies they purport that these castles were all nice and you know they had apples and pig's heads and all that you know, all that is fuckery they're, they're telling you lies right they, those places stink you see the moats around the castle you best believe that was full of urine you know what I'm saying? And, and feed us. Oh, come on, man. It ain't all what they're, what they're trying to purport it to be. These people were at it. They was really, really going at it. Really going at it. You know what I'm saying? They were just slaughtering each other. Like, just for the fuck, like playing games. They were barbaric. I could understand that. I can understand why they would bring that to the rest of the world as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Then they make these movies and we're like, mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's what I don't understand. We glorify everything that they say is bad, but they put it in movies and we glorify it. Well, the trick is, right? Well, you know Hollywood, you know, they use a piece of holy wood. Bing! The woman is oh, is that where it stemmed from? Yeah, it's a holy wood, and it can't spell. So that's how Hollywood was named, after yeah, Hollywood. Holy, holy yes, wood. Bing, it makes sense. Spell. Yeah, um, yeah. Like say, when we was when we was elementary age, and you watch like the, the cartoon, like Tom and Jerry, whatever, or any Disney production, at the end of it, you know, the music goes, Yeah. And see the wizard go around the top of the castle. Castle, game. Get it? Castle. That's showing you that, you know, the Euro-American. Because they're not American, they're, they're European-American. The, um, the, um, the pilgrims, the invaders, right? The Tamil. So, what it, what it is, um, the castle, the cook side, you're going to hear what it is. <laughs> Yeah, so they, they use like cancer spelling us, bing. And we used to sit there like wide eyed, do the, the, the idiot tone. What they call a TV screen, where they tell like the idiot, we used to be like, 
You know what I'm saying? And 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 you know, I used to think that um that uh Yogi Bear and all that was real. I used to think you could jump in the back of the TV box and go to these, you know, Disney World. People used to, we used to fantasize crazy. You know, I'm talking about in the days when we used to think that babies come out of a woman's mouth. <laughs> we was just yeah, laughing right there. <laughs> you know that? That's how stupid it was back in the day. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, come on. People are still, it's 2016 right now? Is that the year? Like, 2016, man. That's right. Easter Bunny. And some guy called Father Christmas from Denmark or whatever. Black man. He gets to the whole planet. As big as the planet is, 7.1 billion people. And they believe in this one guy giving everybody presents in a stinking stocking. Some woman's land or something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So all these myths. Yeah, Donald Trump goes the man who breaks down about all the holidays and all that. He's one of the first teachers I came across who broke down the meaning of holidays and all that. I got something for everybody. When it came to the penal system, it was Dr. Manny Lankbar. When it came down to, to breaking down about religion and all that, it was Dr. Manny Lankbar. When it came down to uh, uh, taking pride of self, it was my man Puddin, Father Allah, uh, times 13 X, the five percenters. So there's someone I can relate to when it comes to like, Higher science and, and um, um, electromagnetic field and, and, and biochemistry and metaphysics. It was my man, Dr. Devil Blair, who transitioned also. He felt there's someone for everybody. When it came to learning um, the reality of racism, what I'm looking for, when it came to like eugenics, it was my girl, Dr. Fast Cross, Francis Cross Wilson, who taught me that from her ISIS book, which I had the ISIS paper, I had like. Know, decades ago, literally. So this, you know, reach out to different teachers where you can connect the dots. But don't get under this trap of feudalism because it's these people who, who bred that. The French, the English, and the Danes uh, are mainly responsible for what you call feudalism. And they make you pitch one topic against another, whereas every topic is planned. You go to university, right, or college right now, you sign four years of your whole life with a dog line for what, one degree? One degree? You meant to be kicking 360, man. And that's just on the physical. You follow? One degree. Four years to get one degree. And by the time you get that degree, guess what? They move the goalposts, baby. They put it up in those city rabbit. You know what I'm saying? So you always be like chasing, 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 chasing. It's silly. They got, they got you silly. I'm not saying drop out of school. I'm saying like educate yourself. Like educate yourself first and foremost. If you, if you can't educate yourself, then you're in trouble. And that's what social security is really about. Social security is mean you declaring that you're insecure in society. And another word for social security is, is welfare. And you remix that around, welfare, farewell to welfare. You know, so they, they're doing you, they're doing you wrong. They've been doing you wrong since they did them. And you gotta do for yourself. Like, why are you relying on people but anyway? The help and you always looking for us in your own arm, baby. That makes sense of these things, you know? What you're saying is true, you know, because when I really think about it, uh -huh. when you really think about it, what you're saying is true, because I had to go through their education system, yeah, yeah to realise, okay, wait, but before that, I clued myself up. But I thought maybe they'll teach me something that I don't know. But I didn't get anything that, you know what I mean? I didn't receive anything in return, just a waste of time. And a debt over my head, that's it. I clearly remember <laughs> when I was five years old, my mom used to tell me about life in Mars, man. You think I could go to the police school and tell my homies about that shit? Man, I get ridiculed. You heard me? But I clearly remember that. Literally. Clearly remember that. When she was on this plane. Clearly remember that. And a lot of us grew up like that when, you know, I've always said, you hear me saying, not just the raw band, but yeah, I get my message from the stars. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of us had certain thoughts, premonitions. Um, we had that clear, clear brains, we had that psychometry. We had all those skills before seven years old. But that's when it's the, you know, we get indoctrinated by our parents, by our peers, and by the school system, and the system, and the TV, and all that. But before then, your first eye is wide open, baby. Before it closes, you get the couch Because back then it was milk program. They used to give us milk. You go to school and they give us the milk, and that shut us up. You hear me earlier speaking about the, uh, the, uh, the filling, the silver filling, the mercury. Now that messed us up also. You follow what I'm saying? So, you know, we've been getting duped. You've been getting shut up from day up. Every time they gave you a needle, you got know, shut up. You know, shut up doesn't mean just a bullet. The education was shooting you up. If you believe what they said for the whole semester, you passed their exam. Mm. Those of us who didn't believe it, we was called dunces, chewants, or whatever. But I didn't mind that. You know what I'm saying? I learned more in reform school one year than I learned in five semesters. But here's the joke. You leave the edu you leave the institutions yeah. with, a, with a paper, but when you come out, what are you doing? 
what can you do with that you're paper? Begging, you're begging, guess what? You're begging to get back in their system. Right. And you're begging because you, you're, you're asking for higher education. They gave you the most dumbed down version of anything to change in their ears, and yet when you leave, you're begging to get higher education, to get more education from them. That doesn't make no sense. It should be like when you leave, and you, you arrive at the school gate, Sony, Panasonic, whoever it is, should be waiting to get your signature for that dotted line. If you're into barrel chemistry and all that, NASA, just saying, or the European Space Agency, or the African Space Agency, if there is one. She be waiting at the gates and getting these geniuses and like giving them endorsements and da 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 But nah, they'd rather say, right, we're gonna fund you with this, you're gonna pay us like, you're gonna pay us like this, we're gonna buy your sneakers, you know, we're gonna show our sneakers, get you out in basketball, check and film. But not to be a genius. Yeah, it's, it's all, so, yeah, it's true. I am thinking in New Jersey, Princeton and all that. No, no, you're not skilled to do that. But yet you got jail teams right now, great debate in Harvard, great debate in uh, Morehouse, great debate in all these top so-called universities. I know they don't beat Oxford and Cambridge over here, but they're not going to tell you that because it's so prestige to them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But we can go on the train to Oxford and Cambridge right now and battle any of them suckers right there. I make them look ridiculous. Tell them, you silly rabbit, go home. Go, go back to your mom, go back to the suburb and, and study. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be my slave master. And I don't, and as I said, I got a lot of European friends. Believe me, we all have, so don't front. You know what I mean? Don't front. You can't buy the hand that you got to feed you. So, it ain't like we blame all of them. No, most of them don't even know. But however, when they say it's not us, it's our foreparents, we say, okay, we got to educate them and say, look, although it wasn't you personally, you still live in perpetuity of the crime. But you have to understand that. You don't know what it's like to walk in my shoes. I'm a size 10. I don't always like to walk in my shoes, you know what I mean? But you know what's interesting about that? When you say they say it wasn't us, it was our forefathers, yeah? yeah? But they live in perpetuity. But here's the joke. They know who it was done to. It wasn't us, right. but it was our ancestors. But they still Which see us like, as a, Exactly, ancestors. exactly. And they, and, they, and they know that, and they know that. So why would that come out their mouth? Why would that leave their mouth? The time is now, but what, what you gotta realize is that the, the whole racism thing is a finance thing. It's not a color thing. Unless you have the connotation of race and white supremacy, I know you hear it a lot. Race and white supremacy is there, right? But that doesn't mean all so-called white people are racist. No, yeah. It doesn't mean that. The system, the systematic racism, is still prevalent. So race and white supremacy. And how you combat that, first and foremost, is, is knowing about them, but first of all, knowing about yourself. Yeah, you have to, because if you don't know about yourself, I feel, this is what I feel, I feel if you don't know about yourself, you don't know how to go about changing anything. Exactly. You have to have knowledge of self and you have to have knowledge of self and kind to put on your psychic self-defense. Mm. To know when to get yourself out of situation. To know not to get yourself shut up, to not get yourself bodied, to not go and commit suicide against the system. You gotta know when to be a man and say, you know what, let me make a chess move rather than a than a, a, a dumb move. move. Yeah. yeah, than a dumb move. You gotta know how to maneuver, you follow? Know how to live another day and be a part of the whole whole solution rather than being a part of the problem. problem. Mm. That's not. You know what I'm saying? Walk away from a fight. It's, it's the ego what's gonna get you killed. People, you know, come on. There was days when people were killed over sneakers. For a pair of Jordans? A pair of Nike? Yeah, don't make no a sense, silly man. Gold chain? Come on, man. It's silly. And now you, the days are more symbolic, you know, symbolism being more symbolic. When children come up and say, yo, what's that sign? It's good when you, you break down a positive symbol to them. You know what I'm saying? Make them go and get that rather than get tattooed and get some city gold chain that's going to weigh them down, walking like, you know, Igor and Frank Sands, Buddy Castle or some shit. Let them get signed with meaning. We're in a meaning there in time. We're in information age. There's no excuse for people not knowing what's going on. If you don't know, ask somebody. You better ask somebody. You know? <laughs> oh, come on, hold up me, you boy. Uh, 079 I done told you, the home tree stand Facebook, the home tree stand YouTube. You good? That's how we do, man. But yeah, support your local businesses. There's, there's some brilliant people. As I said, the UK is always had time. Don't ever sleep. There's people doing some beautiful things. Black Star Promotions, BCP, my brothers, the Lions out there in Brixton or shipping books right now, doing the books. They're in the first newspaper. Go and buy this edition today or go online and get that and you'll see that. You see it right here, no one got There's many people doing some beautiful things. Brother Dougie, Brother Jammers, Brother I saw Mikey of 120 Rescue Row uh, in 15. Sick. The Lions Shop. There's many people. There's the Natero Shop. It's 25 states in Rome. The best shop in South London. The best shop south side of the Temple River. The next one in West London, it's, you can get all you have, you can get all that. People complain that they can't get served, served your stuff and all that. You can't get these things if you know how. There's good, decent, go to the farmer's market, go support them. Support anyone who's got an allotment. 
It's growing their own food and produce. You can do the same thing. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. Support your children by educating them, tell them the truth. Don't deny them. You know what I'm saying? And stop and start getting out of these city stores. I know so, I know you all done the math, you all listen to Claude Anderson, all them tell you about 1.3 trillion dollars so-called disposable income annually for people are wasting in the stores back in the United States of America. The hell holes. But let's do the math for, for England alone, the UK, United <laughs> Kingdom. It's actually 500, it's five, it's five, is it five billion? Five billion. Jeez. You're wasting in these stores, man. Getting that poison and soda and that drug service coming through and giving a lot of these fibroids. Complications and all that. Just start supporting your own. There's a black woman around the corner, an African woman's sister who's been there for years. For any of these people turn up with their store, she got a hair store out there. Yeah, pay the pound Wilbur, markup. just around there. Yeah, pay the pound markup. Pay the 50 pence markup. Pay whatever. I go in there to get a, li a lip check, a lip bar, just to support her. Or I want to get a bandana, just to support her. Just give her my black pound. Just support the woman. Yeah. She's been there from day dot. Don't complain about this. You charge it to it. No, support her. Mm. And you can bring the prices down. But you give me money to the people who run out of the suburbs with a big bag of money. They go to the bank, then they go to the suburb. The bank holiday, they're nowhere in your area. They're on holiday with the banks. Laugh at the truck. You'll be giving it up. And then you complain why you're in the so-called disposition, why there's no stores for you right here. You heard? And you see how gentrification is running for this baby little fetch. You know? You'd never dream of having uh, a customer in this area. The only thing that's missing right now is a waitress. And when you go to the UK um, business law schools, they tell you, you can tell an area by a waitress store. If there's a waitress store, it's an up and coming area. If there's no waitress store, the area's like finished. Guess what? There's no waitress store around here. There's a lot of bookies where people get snapped every day. There's always shootings on this road. Yes, in London. Always. <laughs> you know, people die in this junction every other day. They body someone. But, you know, they want the limbs, cash for limbs. Um, straight up, the, the, the bookies. You got a liquor store. Man. The only other thing missing is the cash converters where people will go and trade in their grandma's gold teeth. <laughs> they're so desperate for drugs. And get up drugs, it ain't cool, it ain't hard. It ain't pleasant, it's killing. Yeah. Imagine if a chewing, uh, might be before you even born, camera man. I actually got a chewing, um, us. And one of the lyrics has got a, you know, your drug dealers, you're as bad as the police because you're killers. Cause you ain't bought us no supermarket for that money you're making. Something along the lines. I remember I played on the radio station. But you know, one of them old school tunes, a nice tune to go back to. to see where things going on. Even the hell project. You know, hell yourself. Human education is lies, try to open eyes with men before it dies. X Clan was a set, brand new game, can be that when music was real nice. It was nice. Go back to the old school stuff. Because a lot of the music right now is garbage unless you speak in sense. I hope you see. Now that behind it, I don't want to hear it. I don't know who's number one. I haven't done. I don't listen to radio unless I'm unless I'm on radio stations. Yesterday I was on a radio station. The week before I was on a radio station. I don't listen to radio unless I'm invited on a radio station. I follow radio station. I don't know who's number one. I can't tell you about the music. I don't listen to it. It's garbage anyway. It doesn't make no sense. I'm, I'm just formulated. Leave me my funk, my roller skates. <laughs> my roller skates come keep, back soon. Keep it like that, man. I know I keep saying, you're gonna don't worry, you're gonna see, man. I'm gonna let the action speak. Roller skates is coming, baby. <laughs> <laughs> roller skates, man. Like, roller skates is it. You're gonna yeah. see, man. It's a nice thing when you skate, you know? mm. Very nice. It's funny as well, because, like, the fact that you say that you don't really listen to a lot of the music today. I mean, everyone's saying that now, but you know what's interesting that as well? Makes sense. It doesn't. And every time I've been asked, like when I was growing up, what did I listen to? Mm. I've always said, whatever sounds nice to me, exactly. yeah, and makes sense to me. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? That's the, that's the only answer they get. It's got to resonate with you. It's got to make, you got to be able to leave it and see it. That's the only answer they get. Nothing Back in more. The day when I talk, talk about the positive <laughs> rap and all that, I can live it and I can see it. I can see it. You know what I'm saying? If Arrested Development in a video with the beads and all that, and I walk down 125th, or Fountain Street, Brooklyn, or Brixton, London, or House of Northwest London, I saw people with the beads and all, you know what I'm saying? So I could see it. It was real to me. Mm. But when you're talking about, like, you know, you got guns, you got this car and that car, I don't see that. That's silly. That's like 2016, y'all still talking, singing about that? Like, really? You know, you got a Lexus, you're living on the 20th floor, your mom's, you don't even put no rice and beans on the table. That ain't real to me. Like, you're not, you're not doing anything to, to empower your own community, but it's meant to be common unity. And then you cry like a bitch talking about the disposition you're under. Stop that. Mm. Stop, it's silly. Stop that, man. You know, look at yourself, man. Don't blame the government and all that. You heard me? 
the government, know your nanny, the government ain't your mama. You heard me? Like, get off your lazy ass, your lazy backside, you sign for your community. If you don't leave your legacy on this planet every single day, you don't leave it in your print, you ain't shit. I said it. You ain't Scooby Doo. You ain't not a man. Leave an imprint. Do something. Leave something on a on a on a on a on a, on a psyche of a child. Leave something positive. Talk to your elders. Engage your elders and engage the youth. It's disgraceful the way people back chat their elders out here and talk to children out here. It's disgraceful. That you know that wouldn't happen on our on our folks' watch. You'd be nice. You was taught better. You follow? Talk and engage them. Ask them what it was like when they was here, when they first came to places like this. Engage them. Ask them. Ask them. Talk and engage. Stop walking around with so much hate. Like, replace all that hate for love, man. You know, hate and love. Like, you know, don't, don't be going out like Radio Rakeem. You know what I'm saying? Learn the balance. The balance is, is used. That's my mentality. It's that equilibrium. Learn as a balance. It ain't soft to read books. You know what I'm saying? It ain't soft to, 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 to tell a lady, how was your day today? Be polite and open up the door when you're coming out of the candy store and say, yeah, how you doing, sir? Be polite. Manners don't cost nothing. No matter what color. Be polite to other people. Be it, be, if you want to be aggressive, be an aggressive humanitarian. And care. Just care, just care, just, just, just care. Just care about your surroundings. Don't throw. I see like the youth spit, the way they spit on the sidewalk and throw cans like it's hard. That's not hard. You find trash in your own neighborhood. That's silly. You look ridiculous. Because you walk with your little gang. You look stupid. You'd never do that if you're walking with your moms. Never. So why would you do that when you walk with your homies? In your own neighborhood. And make your own neighborhood look impoverished. You, you bring that upon yourself. Like, come on. Get with it. Get with it. And the main thing, support your media, as I said. Control your own media. Make your own media. Do your own videos. Every single day, walk with the camera. If those of you all got a clean record, you ain't got no offenders, you ain't got no criminal charges in the UK, then volunteer to government, yeah I said this, go on your government.com website and volunteer to be a magistrate. Stop complaining when you see your homeboy getting six months there to youth correctional facilities and fell them or whatever, whatever. Be a, be a magistrate, you can volunteer to be a magistrate. Then normal people like me and you, these people are smart, they put their people in. When you go in this Chinese district, the Russian district, the Bosnian district, the Polish district, they're putting their people in places. Why you think there's so many Polaski stores open 24-7? I don't see none of y'all with no store. Oh, because they, they, they keep it running, they're man. They're people in position. That's they it, they keep it running. They go support their local mayor, they vote in the local people. It's about locally, not on the international scale. That voting is rigged, you know that, right? And you know that no president, no prime minister is ever elected, they're all selected. However, if you get together and go to your town meetings on a Thursday, go to your town hall, learn the name of your, your local police commissioner, who, who's the chief inspector? Around here, Tottenham Police Department, it's a black guy. How many of you knew that? I didn't even know that. And he actually, uh, he, he supports a lot of positive things that's happening in this borough. Every summertime, you got a big boxing thing, you know, get the kids out of trouble, on Ali Pali, Alexander Palace. Sponsored by the Metropolitan Police Department, sponsored by this guy. So, I'm just saying like, you know, I'm not saying they're all good or whatever, I'm not saying they're all bad whatever. I'm just saying like, learn who they are. Learn, learn the name of the, your local fire chief. Like, learn, find out who these people are, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, your local counselors, like, find out who's sitting in certain positions and then play chess and get your people there. Yeah, that's so the, those, for you. Yeah, those are the positions where we have to be to make exactly. the change. Exactly. If we're not in those positions, we can't do anything but talk. That's, 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 it. that's it. And they're just laughing at you, demonstrating and marching all the time. Don't get me wrong, you know, the marching, but I don't agree with marching as a 49 year old. It doesn't work, man. Yeah, the marching, <laughs> It's been like the match, like recreation match, two weeks ago at Brixton, down to Parliament, right? Is that anybody who hasn't marched before, I'm glad to see them march. At least they're, they're feeling a bit of the struggle. Because as I said many a time, a lot of people of color who are working in the plantation on the, on the slavery fell, they don't know the, they don't know the basics of black history. You'd be surprised that people's age group would come and ask me basic things. I know, things. I know it's... You know, like, you know, I just heard Jesus is black and, you know, it's neither here or there, but People don't realize, like, you know, what we've laid down on the planet. You know what I'm saying? So, they've been brainwashed. I'm here with a shampoo condition. So, sometimes we're going to go easy. They're not all just cooling out. Some of them generally do not know the basics. And we got to be, like, we got to be nice when it comes to, like, educating them and reaching and teaching them. Hotel army. So, we got to be nice sometimes. We got to be nice sometimes like that. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, with that now, 
gonna, I was gonna ask Sam, that's my channel for the bus driver. Yeah. Everybody's doing that every minute, so coming over. I'm wondering if I should slide this in or whether I should let you say your piece. Um, Go ahead, yeah, basically. Um yeah, like with the marches, oh, the whole sorry. marches. A, yeah, yeah, oh. the marches. Okay. Yeah, so some of them ain't done they ain't done their they ain't done their bit, they ain't paid their dues yet. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Some of them people need to go on the march just to feel that unity. You know what I'm saying? Because some of them are just working on the plantation with the Brady Bunch, like, you know, 24-7, week in, week out, month out, week in, month out. And they can only get one holiday a year. When they get their holiday, they go to Skegness or they go to Paris, they go somewhere local. You know, it's not really on holiday, it's just slow with the road. So they don't, they're not really tapping their own culture. They're not getting their own story. So sometimes you're going to be easy on them. And like, if they haven't marched, then yeah, then it's good for them to march. So they can embrace that unit. So they can feel part of the collective and not on their own. Because as an individual, you're foul, but as all you're, you're succeeding. So, but some of the other times when we march, like for instance, when they were shooting, when the last one got shot, when the last one got shot, people marched in London on Parliament on a Sunday. That don't make no sense. You're paying all that money to get down on the subway train, you're paying for the candy, the, the confectionery, the stores, the transportation, the buses, whatever, to get down there. You're, you're giving it all back to the system area. The system's laughing for you. And on top of that now, the councillors, the mayors, the, the borough leaders and all that, they're not even on parliament on a Sunday. They're at rest. They're playing golf. They're in the south of France. They're in, mm. they're in Monaco on their yachts. You know what I'm saying? And they're laughing. They're like, why are all these people marching on parliament on a weekend? It made no sense. So you know you gotta you gotta you gotta have you gotta play these strategy moves. Support anybody you know who can make hotel, who can make those strategy moves for you or or on your behalf. They're working with you. We gotta work as a team. Team. Together each cheese more. Stop being an individual. Stop going for the ego. Sometimes let it go and let the net the next man be the warrior or be the, the thinker or, or the strategy person or, or the banker. Just know your position and play your part. This shit ain't even that deep. You can come with this whole system in one day. By supporting your go ahead. Yeah. Keep rolling. I was gonna say if you just keep rolling. Yes, yeah, keep rolling. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say if we shift over a bit to so get a oh, bit okay. more light. Just a little bit. Yeah. Ah, it's no light. Yeah. You can turn this you can flip this whole thing around, man. <laughs> flip the street. Flip yeah. the whole truck. <laughs> you see every day, you got some light. Yeah. Shit, it must be so dark over there. Y'all probably just see my You start to fade down now. So yeah. if, if you stand here, I think you get a bit more light. Yeah, right so here. This light is right there. Too, man, too, just too dark, man. I'll be out here tomorrow doing that again. Put it on light. This is my normal spot. Yeah, this is better. It's much better. But what I'm going to do next week, though, hotel homie, I mean, you good? I want to I wanna take the camera like Reed on the road. I want to do some filming on the subway here. People don't feel like realize, you know, the subway trains in London. People think it's all old, like Sherlock Holmes days and all that. Robin Hood of Sherwood Forest in London. Here. I'm trying to show people the real, the real over here. The oldest subway in the world is here. The deepest subway in the world is here. And it still ain't no AC. It still stinks. <laughs> <laughs> the money is terrible. <laughs> terrible. No chance for no nada. Like four pounds something to go from here to the next stop. Yeah, that's like eight dollars. It's crazy. I know. It's mad. It's man. And I think about it. It's mad. Everything is money, everything <laughs> is taxation, it's like people had enough. That's another reason I'm getting back on my roller skates. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Live life, man. Yeah, live life. Straight. Sometimes I just walk here instead. But I want to do videos by waterfalls, show you the waterfalls in the UK and Europe. Listen. And, and just nice, there's so many nice places off the Beacon Track. You know where I live, my street. Underneath my street, there's a there's a, there's a, a nature walk, like literally. You know what's funny? I've been in those sirens and I'm surrounded by trees, like nature. It's just like, even the air tastes different. Mm. And I'm surrounded by black people as well. Jeez. But it's a nice place, like yo. Man, people don't know. But those kind of places, I've been looking for places like that just to experience and be All around the house because. Are beautiful. Jeez. All the house stores, you know, I get, I get my things nicely. You know what I'm saying? And it's only a mile. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. It's only like. Two miles from here. Two miles. Two miles, but just mm. where it is, a lot of greenery. It's a lot of greenery. Mm. All the people of color respect the street. Even the foxes come and say hi to you. <laughs> you never fought from a fox over here, man. Literally, they're just brazen right now. You see the foxes are brazen right now. They used to run a mile before. You know what I mean? They used to run a mile. Like, just be Make, make one with nature. People always see me talk about the bees. There's a big bee that comes to see me, my homie. It hoovers past me and lands on my arm every day. 
Be nice, you know what I'm saying? Be right when you don't see the beach.